Hey everyone, it's Aaron Schechter from 365shaves.com. Coming to you today with actually a little bit of a tutorial and a how-to type of video. Zero reviews going on today. About, I want to say maybe about five, six months ago, someone had posed a question to me. Um, they were very impressed by my, my moustache, or moustaki as we call it in Greek. And um, they wanted to know more about mustache care, hair care, and what exactly I do to keep a healthy, thick mustache and keep these curls the way I keep them. Well, it took me five or six months to really think about that question, to be quite honest, and really look at my routine and find out what worked, what didn't work, what I liked and what didn't. Now, first and foremost, before I go any farther in this video, I just want to say I am not a doctor. By any means am I a doc not a doctor. I, uh, this is all just a lot of research I've done, a lot of education, self-education I've done, and this video does not constitute in any way, shape, or form any type of medical advice. As always, your mileage may vary because it worked very well for me. It does not mean it's going to work very well for you. So. Do your own research a little bit, but I'm just going to steer you a little bit in the right direction, okay? So first and foremost, the number one thing you can do to have healthy hair in general, a healthy mustache, a healthy beard, is have a good diet. Have a good diet that's, that's very um, balanced with fats, carbohydrates, especially proteins, um, and other amino acids within that diet. All this is going to play into effect of your overall health in general. If you're not a healthy person, you're not going to have healthy hair. That's that's a, a just a normal common sense fact. That's one of the first things that's going to go if you're a not healthy person is your hair is going to look brittle, weak, dull. Um, it's going to start to fall out. It's it's that's your number one thing. Number two, try to lead as little of a stress-free life as possible. Try to leave that stress outside of your life. The more stress you have in your life, you could have stress-induced hair loss, okay? Easier said than done sometimes, um, but, you know, just try to stay positive and, you know, just don't get yourself depressed, don't get overly anxious or worried about things. Believe me, I, I can relate to, you know, deadlines and stress and all that, and, you know, the old term, you're pulling your hair out. Well. That kind of stemmed from stress-induced hair loss, the whole, you're pulling your hair out. There's actually a, always a little bit of a reason behind a lot of those cliche sayings. Now, moving forward, let's get into some of the things that I personally do to help myself with hair growth, mustache health, beard health, and so on, okay? So, I'm just going to lean over every now and again and grab an, an item and product I use. So, first thing I do is I take a very good balanced multivitamin. I happen to take um, GNC vitamins, Mega Men, for no other reason than the obvious. I am a Mega Man, so why the heck wouldn't I take a Mega Men's vitamin? I mean, it just makes common sense to me, right? So, take a good balanced multivitamin, appropriate to your age, appropriate to your health needs, okay? If you find that you are deficient and you don't have a great diet. I do not have a great diet. I'm also vegan, so I am deficient in certain uh, key nutrients that otherwise you would find by eating red meat. So I do take a very strong multivitamin, okay? That being said, the next thing I take that is very important is a, another actual nutrient called biotin. Biotin is in the B complex family of vitamins. Biotin is basically known for healthy, it's known for fat and carbohydrate metabolism, metabolizing it, as well as healthy nails, healthy hair, healthy skin, okay? I take 10,000 micrograms a day. If you go to the, F, uh, to the FDC, they're going to tell you that you don't need even remotely close to 10,000 micrograms. Okay, I am taking like literally probably a month's worth every single day worth of biotin. But biotin is your number one friend when it comes to healthy hair. Okay, that's number two. That's the second thing I do in my regimen for mustache and just hair in general health. Now, moving forward, 
The next thing I do is let's talk a little bit about conditioning, okay? Now, this bottle is really worn out, okay? So please, Douglas, don't kill me, don't kill me. Please don't be mad that I'm showing you the bottle looking like this. I'm going to get in really close, but this is actually um, uh, How to Grow a Mustache Magic. Uh, the Magic Mustache Wax Remover and Conditioner Pre-Shave Oil Combination. The label is somewhat gotten very dark because I use this religiously daily. I use this, okay? Um, every single night when I remove the wax from my mustache, I always condition my beard and my mustache with this oil. It contains a lot of great essential oils and a lot of great things for your skin and for your hair's health that will condition it and get it ready and prepared for the next day while minimizing the amount of pulling and or tugging and lubricates all of those hairs, okay? Um, as far as similar products go, I've recently purchased this. I've been trying it out. It's actually quite good. I actually like the aroma and smell of it a lot. I'm not going to get into a review of it right now, but Ginger's Garden also makes a, um, an oil, a beard and mustache oil that I've been trying out. And it's, it's definitely a quality product. It's got a different aroma. It's not like the magic from um, How to Grow a Mustache. It's, I, it doesn't remove wax. It doesn't do as much, but it has a very pleasant smell and it leaves my mustache and beard feeling very nice the next day. So that's about as close of a review to this as I'm going to get. Let's just say beard oil is and mustache oil is definitely part of the regimen I use for my, for my mustache and my chin strap beard and for the health of my hair, okay? Now, that brings up the next uh, obvious question. What do you use, okay? Now, they sell these things, okay? They're mustache combs. This one is a Kent 81T. It's a handmade mustache comb. Oops, ah, look at that, good catch. Um, it actually works quite well. It's actually, not, it's the teeth are actually spread out at a very nice distance that will not really harm your your beard or your mustache. I use this comb actually to apply my wax after I heat it and to evenly distribute it through the mustache. Your other option, which is actually equally as smart, to be quite honest, I, this is what I started out using for a very long time, and I actually use this to remove the wax. I use that to apply the wax. Is a normal one of these black combs that you see, uh, you know, back in the 50s, everyone used to carry in their back pocket, pick it out, you know, do their hair. Well, you could use the same thing starting with the thicker comb, so if there's any tangles in your mustache or beard, you're not going to rip out your hair. That's an important thing. You don't want to break hair. You don't want to split the ends of the hair. And you don't. You definitely don't want to rip hairs out of. The second you see a white bulb at the end of a hair, that means you just killed that hair. You just killed a follicle. Okay. So you want to always start with the thicker side. Let it go through. Let it go through. Let it go through. And then after you work that through, then you can go to the thinner side, to the thinner actual uh, combs, and then you could actually do that and you know use a regular black comb there's no real need to go and buy specific special combs for your mustache or for your beard um, that's being said I just wanted it that's that was the bottom line I just wanted it I actually find it works very well and it actually fits very comfortably for working through the wax in my mustache okay now moving on even further okay now, I am a huge proponent of using as many organic products as possible and putting as many natural products onto your skin and into your hair and into your body as possible, okay? So, once again, Douglas, do not kill me on this one. I'm sorry, it's just I've put a lot of miles on this wax. The best bang for your buck I've experienced so far with the mustache wax is the How to Grow a Mustache Tash Wax. As you can see, it is a little bit scraped and looking definitely worn because I keep it in my pocket all the time. Whenever I need to freshen up, if it's a hot day, you know, and I need to freshen up or whatever, or just add a little bit more for more hold, I just reach my pocket because it's already warm. Take it, you know, uh, just, you know, take your finger, get in there, rub your fingers together and go. Now, what's nice about this, and I wish I could still read the back of it, but it's worn off, is I know it's all natural products. It's beeswax, and it's a lot of all natural organic products, or at least, if not organic, all natural products, okay? 
You're also going to run into a lot of um, other products like, and that's by the way, the Tash Wax is a, is a, is a very firm holding wax. It, it's going to hold it exactly like you see this. It's very firm. Then you're going to get into other products like, uh, let's say, Brooklyn Grooming. That's another new one that I just started using. This is a light hold, okay? Now, it's still a very, very good product, but you're not going to get these curls, okay? You're not going to get this type of a handlebar mustache. It's nice for a very natural hold. Keep the mustache out of your mouth and what I like to call a natural handlebar or a natural English style mustache that has natural flow to it and not tight curl to it. It's very nice. Smells excellent. It's also 100% natural much more expensive though. This is $22 a tin. This is $44 worth of wax right here as opposed to I think $10 for the Tash Wax. It's like a huge difference. It's more than double the price. So you're going to run into that. Then you're going to run into some other ones um, like, you know, Edwin Jagger makes one, you know, that's uh, also relatively natural. Um, the fragrance isn't necessarily natural, but you know, that's a very good firm wax. Um, Firehouse brand is excellent. This works very, very well. I don't know how natural it is, but it's got a really great caramel smell to it. And I, I use the dark. Works great. It works very, very good. It leaves the hair pliable. It's like a medium hold, what I would call a medium hold. Now, the last thing I want to show everyone, and I'm going to get back into the frame, is um, another product I use occasionally, okay? Now, on very hot days, wax will melt and you will not be able to get that firm hold. Anything over like 85, 90 degrees, you're gonna melt and your mustache is gonna suffer. They also make something, and I'm sorry to say this, and I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, they also make products like Joe Grooming Compound, okay? It's just about as unnatural as you can get. There's about a million and one chemicals here and I'm probably gonna grow a second nose because of it. As you can see, I have definitely used this product on a fairly big basis, okay? Um, it gets hot up here, and it was definitely hot down in the south when I was down south. This will work excellently at holding your mustache in shape. More reason, though, to take good care of your mustache. Take that biotin, take your multivitamin, eat well, keep yourself hydrated. That's very important as well. Condition your beard and your mustache with an oil. You could even make your own oil if you really wanted to using, you know, really nice, um, you know, grapeseed oil and olive oil, jojoba oil, uh, flax oil, just things that are very nourishing. Uh, vitamin E is very good. Um, you can make your own. Just If you're going to use a product like this that's synthetic, take extra special care of what you're conditioning in the rest of your regimen, okay? Also, keep your face clean, guys. Wash your face. Don't just wash your body. Use soap on your face. Come on, take some you know pride in in your overall appearance. Wash your face with good quality soap. Um, there's a ton of them on the on the market. I mean that are specifically made for facial washes. Anything from um, Nivea makes one to How to Grow a Mustache makes one to um, Muscaril makes one, to everyone. I, I mean, there's just so many at this point. There's no reason not to take good care of your skin at this point. And that also translates to your face to remove any excess oils from your beard, which will make you itch and scratch. And you should never feel that if you take proper care and clean your beard and mustache on a re re regular daily basis. So that being said, that's pretty much my routine in, um, in mustache care. Now, there's a million and one different styles and a million and one different ways that you either need a light hold or a heavy hold wax or compound to keep your, your mo in, in top looking order. So that being said, use your judgment what type of product you want to use to keep your mustache hold. I need a very firm hold because I wear a handlebar mustache. I hope this video was a little bit informative to you and if you don't take away anything else from this video, take away that you need to take care of yourself. Take a multivitamin if you need to. Take biotin if you need to. Biotin is your number one friend when it comes to hair health, okay? Um, but if you take biotin, you're going to want to take vitamin B5 and B6 at the same time, which is biotin because it will deplete the other. So do your research when you take a, any type of supplement, always do your research. But if, you, like I said, if you take nothing else away from this, 
take away from it, take good care of your body. The facial hair and the mo and the beard will look excellent no matter what you do, okay? On that note, I'm Aaron from 365 Shaves. God bless and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.